Hi everyone, welcome to my first video. Here I want to show you how to use Windows 10 de bloater. Really cool little program which just gets rid of a lot of the bloatware that comes with Windows 10. It also lets you choose what you want to get rid of. Some people find it quite confusing on how to make it work, but it is quite simple when you know how. So yeah, let's get started. So all these links will be in the description. Right now we're going to github.com and you want to find this page. It should take you straight here. And you want to go to code and then download zip. Hit save file. Make sure you know where you're saving it. For me, it automatically just goes in my downloads folder. Um, from your downloads folder or wherever you saved it, you want to extract the file you just downloaded. You can uh, right click it or you can uh, just go up here if you're on Windows 10, extract all. And from here, it'll be extracted. Go into this folder and then we're done on this area for now. So next up, you're going to want to go into your start menu on Windows 10. And from here, you just want to start typing PowerShell. Now, you can either use the one that comes up as the best match, or I would personally use PowerShell ISE. Uh, we're going to need to run this as administrator. So right click, run as administrator. Hit yes on the next pop-up box. That may have not shown up for you guys, but it's just yes. Now from here, we go, we're going to want to get to the directory of where we downloaded the, the bloater program. So for me, it's in my downloads and then Windows 10 to bloater master and then Windows 10 to bloater, the bloater master again. Um, to get there quickly, what you can do up here, you can just click, left click once and it will put the whole directory path in. So from here, you can then highlight the whole thing, right click copy. And then in PowerShell, you want to type CD space and then the directory. So what you can do is right click paste and that will fill in everything that we just copied. Press enter and then we're in that folder. Next up, we just need to set a uh, perimeter for PowerShell. Doing this, we will type this. I'll put this in the description as well. You can just paste this in, press enter, and that's it. And then finally, to actually run the program, because we're in, already in the directory, we want to type in the following, which is, will be in the bottom of the, the description with everything else. And then we want to press enter. When this pop-up comes up, press run once, and the program will run. Here it is. Multiple options in here. We can remove bloatware, we can enable dark mode, disable dark mode. We can also customize the blacklist. Now, this is up to everyone what you want to do. If I click this, there's a huge list of things that uh, it will remove. Personally, at this point, I um, just keep everything as the default, so I don't even press customize blacklist. I just press remove bloatware. And in the background, you will see the program running. It will remove everything that is on the blacklist. It will also clean up your registry. And uh, it's really quick. For some reason, it opens up Windows Explorer, even though it's, um, it's done. And there we go. If it's been d successful, you'll have this finished all tasks, and you'll have nothing red. If anything red came up in this window, uh, that means you didn't run PowerShell as an administrator uh, I hope this helped. That's everything. There is actually a decent performance increase, especially for older computers. So yeah, that's uh, how you do it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if this helped. If not, thumbs down. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to have a look and see what I can do to make a new tutorial on anything you're stuck on. And see you in the next one. Cheers.